child in Detroit. But what we saw was in the city of Detroit, the, the average household lost over 36% of its income over the last 10 years. As unemployment and everything has, has just plummeted. And let you know, we always talk about an unemployment rate about 20% in the city. For only 47% of working age people in the city are actually engaged in the labor force. So you're starting with less than half of the, of the 25 to 64 year olds if we talk about the, the working age population. Either working, whether it's part time or full time, or looking for work. So you start with less than half of the adult population actually engaged in the workforce. 20% of those are unemployed, and the rest of them are, many of them are part-time workers or just working a few hours. So there's a lot of the non-traditional economy, a lot of people just kind of making it however, and that's why there's this desperation. And it's not, you know, as, as um, the losing presidential candidate said, that, that other 47%, this, there are a lot of people who want jobs. There's a lot of issues around drugs and, and um, literacy issues and things like that, why people can't get work. But the fact is, if you want work, you can't get there because we don't have a transportation system that allows you. And the jobs have left the city, so it'd be great if you could get, even if the jobs were in the suburbs and you could get to them, that would be okay, but you can't do it. And so we've kind of made it very difficult.